Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. Okay, we're on our way. Yes. Okay, and I did just put some soothing music to help the party as they begin their uh, nice, easy, blissful, peaceful journey. Oh, ah. Please, you can't fool us. That that thing in the box is trying to <laughs> get us out to open it. Although I don't know if the me I can't hear the music anymore, so I don't know if that's something on my end or it's something not. on your end. Roll twenty okay. sometimes messes things I'll, up. Okay, I'll just refresh. But um, yeah, so you guys are heading on. Uh, you set off warily. As you guys are moving, um, go ahead and uh, the rock and uh, Aiden make me will checks. I need to get in the box. You don't even want to know what's okay. in it. It's going to get um, in it. You realize that you were kind of acting out of hand earlier. Like there was uh, something going on, and Aiden, you also realize this. Like there was, uh, like you weren't in your right mind. Like for, you don't know why. You were just like obsessed with that box, and it's just a box. It's a delivery for Desmond. So something is in that box that is trying to get out, probably. Huh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the spell I casted earlier. There must be some kind of uh, misunderstanding. Okay. Did you guys learn new spells? I mean, yes. Uh, okay. The same spells. Quite a misunderstanding there. Yes, it's something with the box. It uh, influenced me some way. I don't know why. We have to be careful. Yes. It's a freaking box we were told not to open. <sighs> anyway, do we have enough time after breaking camp to memorize spells again? Uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You guys have twenty minutes left of uh, time, so whatever you can fit in twenty minutes. I asked the party if they'll stick around for another ten. After that, uh, half an hour. Never. I just need. I just need half an hour. Yeah, what you have you have twenty minutes, and then you've been awake and strenuous. It was busy arguing for a couple okay, hours. Okay, I see what you're saying. All right, I will yeah. memorize. So uh, you, you can fit like two spells or two two levels spells. worth of spells. Uh, I'll take the hold person over the command. Okay, okay. done. Any and what did you guys refill up or? Um, I didn't use. Yep. Okay. Okay. Anyway, anyway. Okay, so as you are approaching, um, you can move yourselves along, the, or I guess I can. As you guys are approaching the center of uh, this area, uh, you um, let's go ahead and move us over. I'm really hoping that dynamic or that the lighting is working correctly. So, uh, what was your name, Aiden? You are an ambassador from, I know there's like Elven Kingdom somewhere on this okay. continent. You're from there. Silvus. Silvus, okay. yes. Yes, so, that's, well, I wonder why you have never heard of this kingdom before. You must I'm be very from, uneducated. I'm from, <laughs> a, I'm from an island far away from the continent. Okay. So can you guys each draw me a box? You guys are approaching and you see a wagon. It's night is falling. Uh, you see a uh, the remains of a wagon ahead of you, and Perf about ha an hour ago, you did stumble upon this path that uh, looks like it used to be more well traveled, but now it's definitely like in the middle of the forest is where you find this path. And this from which up. direction uh, are we coming from? Uh, you're coming from the north, the top of the map. Okay. Um, so you guys are heading south, and you see this wagon, and this is. Um, the uh, ba basically you about half an hour ago you stumbled on this path and this is where kind of the path desmond was telling you about the leads to where you're going where's the donkey we need uh, we need a square for the donkey the gray square uh i uh you can draw that neil uh in a different color okay that way you, that way you can control it cool <sighs> Anyway, I'm, it's not about education. I just recently came to... What, what is this? Um, it looks like a spilled wagon. Yes. We, so we, we might be a trap. We have to keep an eye out. Uh, can you make me perception check rock? And Maybe also... Uh, 
say, looking at this ambassador from the elven lands that just happens to be hanging out in shenanigans. Maybe you're the trick. And Artie, can you also make me a perception check? Yeah, I'm I'm looking up my perception Uh, skill. It's a five and I pass. Okay. Um, (laughs) So you both, uh, you're looking, uh, it's kind of, it's getting dark and you both actually hear, um, it sounds like up ahead on the other side of the wagon. I'm going to pull out my sword. Me too. Yeah, same here. Start to remember the words to a spell. Okay. I stand there dumbfounded. And uh, you you stop moving? Oh, yeah. Okay, you, you still hear the sound. It's coming from the far side of the wagon. Uh, you can't quite see anything at the moment. Um but you do hear that sound. I'm gonna. It's like at, it's at a pretty dis. Uh, it, it's like at the range of your hearing. Like when everything's quiet, we, you can just hear that. Do we see any bodies? Uh, you don't see any bodies. It looks like this wagon that broke down has been here for ages. Like okay. the wood's kind of a little rotten. Um, the goods are all scattered, and they've been picked through ages ago. Like the this has been here for a long time. Is okay. like there's are even there... like brush and shrubs growing into and around the wagon. Um, are there any remnants that would tell us uh, what kind of where they were transporting? Um, it looks like these were like barrels of um, perhaps ale or like it looks like it was some kind of liquid. Um, you're not sure exactly what oh. it was, but it looks like they are ale casks. You're just not sure like what kind or brand. Um, and from at least from where you are, unless you want to go take a closer look. I I will light my lantern and hang it onto my backpack, and with my drawn sword will slowly move in that direction. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna also slowly. Yeah. So as you get closer, uh, the rock on one of the barrels, you see the faint imprint of the da- the. I can't draft- read. Okay. Well, yeah, it's the sign, the logo of the Draft Punk Brewery. You see faded on one of the sides of the barrels. The Draft Punk Brewery? I know this place. Desmond has these barrels in his place. Yeah. We went I've there a while ago. I've had them in my face. Oh, we should have asked freaking, uh, we should have asked uh, Miss Nevada if she knew anything about this place. No, oh, too late now. That's far, far away from where we are today. Uh, how dark is it? Uh, it is, it is pretty much night now. Like, the, the trees are pretty thick. This path there's like canop you guys are under the canopy but this path is here like these are some pretty big trees at this point okay. like imagine redwood sized trees okay uh, like, i will pretty big i will cast um dancing lights over in that area okay just uh, scatter the lights and- okay let's see up one to four lights uh-huh. so- why is it oh, okay there we go yeah i have like one light uh directly behind the wagon one light about here so okay. i can see in that direction one light here where okay okay and one light here where sorry i yeah. missed the Last one. Let me zoom out the map because I don't see the thing. Oh, okay. Okay. And you guys, if that wasn't already. Okay. And the skittering or the sound that you're hearing is seems to be coming from this area. Um, like it's just behind. There's like some rocks and the it, the path slopes downwards, so you can't quite see much further. Um, uh, what area? Trees, uh, from over in that direction. Can you see my pings in the darkness or no? Mm. Yes. Pointing way okay. down here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, we should um, approach with caution. Okay. I and make sure to see if it's dangerous or not before we continue. 
I uh, move. Uh, is this ten feet? Okay, yeah, I have uh, forty yards. Uh, oh, forty yards. Fifty yards, even. So I move the lights over to there. Slow, not slowly. I move them over there. But keep in line. So like. Okay. And then also before uh, we go a little bit further, I was going to suggest there's a new uh, crit effects table that I was working on where you get critical effects if you do a called shot and get mm. a crit. Okay. If you guys would like to try that out. Mm. Sure, if you can choose. Yeah, so if you choose to get a called, if you declare that you have a called shot and it ends up being a crit, you roll against the area that you called. Is there so still if, a penalty involved with the called shot? Yeah, minus four to hit. So you have so to. So this have to arming would be this four. arming would be like a cold shot, right? So that would be that would apply. But the that table. would be a called shot against the weapon. Right, but would that? Uh, against, you still roll the. Okay. You would roll against the what you're attacking. So okay. a weapon doesn't have like. So if you're attacking the hands, yeah. then you. Will, yeah. All right. I, I feel arm. like. I feel like this is going to be real good with the proc. <laughs> Just like call shot head decapitation. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, what so, can you yeah. see? When, uh, uh, yeah, so what was that? Sorry. I move the lights further to the, from where the skittering com comes, so. Okay. And uh, I get myself ready. What's the range on dancing lights? Uh, 50 yards. Okay. A lot. Okay. It's 150 feet, so. Yeah. This, uh, sorry, also, I, I, I just realized that this should be scaled in yards. I need to fix that. Or wait, actually, I, let's see. Uh, I guess meters is close enough to yards. Oh, sorry, I, I move just a little bit and just have all uh, the lights converging around here. OK. So and I get myself ready to attack if anything storms at me let's see uh okay, so well, you now it's in move the light in increments and of five foot do... meters yeah so five yards these are five yard squares yeah right now in terms of distance. that's a huge that's a car massive wagon <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a giant caravan it had like 40 barrels on it like that's a 90 it, foot <laughs> a 60 foot wagon it, it's a it's the yacht of wagons wow and those are some big ass barrels too <laughs> 30 wow. foot road yeah. we are also pretty big i mean we take up a five yard square <laughs> jesus christ these these barrels are like 12 feet long 12 feet tall <laughs> this tree <laughs> is, is this. nine feet thick yeah the, the trees are wide because they are like redwood style trees so wow. they can get trunks they, they can get trunks like this is the heart of the pocket like this is very very deep forest very old forest it man like the, I this, mean, path... this sign is 30 feet wide yeah <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe giants live here it's like it's, it's just a giant oh, yeah. anyway, <laughs> sign <laughs> all right well we are uh... on... 20 miles to oh. <laughs> yeah. What's that? 15 What's this? foot cartwheels. My There's god. Something. I see something guys. I see something. Yep. What do we see? What do I, I see? What do Arnie I see? starts frantically uh, yelling see... and pointing out into the darkness. Yes, you see ahead of you uh what looks like a some kind of giant beetle. Giant? As in large size? As in... Oh, no. <laughs> As in about <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, actually, I, I do. Do you do you say it's D twenty yeah. damage size? I I, I yeah, sorry. That, oh that was, no. I, I, the I, I everything I had scaled perfectly before, and then like I was like I wanted the map to be in yards, and then I kind of. So yeah, sorry about that confusion. It is it's all right. Uh, it's shenanigans. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it looks like it's a probably from. It looks like it's probably about five uh, five feet size okay. beetle. So it's not large. Yeah, you can see the whole thing. That, once you have it pointed out to you against the darkness, and uh, so far it doesn't seem to notice you. Okay, I will. It, it's just kind of clickering around, like looking, like just like rotating. It and... doesn't notice the light. Uh, it notices the light, but it's not 
it's not reacting like it doesn't seem to notice you it's just kind of reacting and it actually skitters into the darkness okay um, i will climb up onto the wagon okay be careful there are giant insects around hmm we just should we should wait and see what they do we should not provoke them well we can't see forever and i think about now my spell should be yes it's garbage Okay. We're living crap out of it. And let's see. You guys are going to lose some vision. And at the point of losing vision, you guys lost your light. I take out my hooded continual light lantern and attach it to my backpack. Okay. (laughs) There we go. And light is once again revealed. What's the range on your your... zero feet? Okay. I mean, I also have my hood lantern on, but it's not that. No, honestly, who doesn't have continual light something? Uh, me. A lot of the level one people, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only like 10 gold in the shop. I mean, come on, guys. We didn't even know we, we can buy, buy one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's in Neil's economics guide for like 10 gold. Um, or should so... I say a thousand copper? Thank Upon you. I appreciate light... that distinction. Yeah. <laughs> well, 100 <laughs> silver. Zero. So upon no, it talks your in light. silver. That's ridiculous. It's like talking in ten dollar bills. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, Ryan, but like, <laughs> okay. come on, you don't talk. You don't say, "Oh, that's five one hundred dollar bills." Or that's five, Wait. you know, ten dollar bills. But you say it's a hundred dollars because dollar I, is the currency. Around, Copper is I'm the also, currency. I'm also not going around saying, "Well, this uh, f- fine piece of whatever you buy right now is." not one thousand cents but you my, don't my, use cents because oh copper <laughs> is the one dollar increment my, my one the, argument the, 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 guys, my one argument is that it's all about the benjamins baby so that would yeah, be a yeah goal. you you scrubs don't count in benjamins <laughs> no no one counts in benjamins we don't uh, know Neil. wanna I'm be saying, gangsters you're right, count Neil, in I, benjamins. I say 100 k uh yo know, 100 G? I, I don't count in Benjamins. Rarely people will say 100 G or 100 K. Very I about, rarely. I talk it about things in K this, and 100 G is 3,000 copper. And it would be 100 gold. So 100 it's still 3,000 copper. You could call it 3K copper, but you wouldn't say 30 well, gold. At it's least, ridiculous. At least it's, uh, to a, it's a 1 to 10 ratio and not gold. something like the imperial system where it's like all over the oh, place. Oh, now we're talking about the imperial system. Okay. <laughs> you want to bring this on? The imperial why, system built your entire damn country, all right? Why don't you just, Why don't you even suggest we use Electrum? Okay. So, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Are, uh, Look, they built the pyramids you... using fucking cubits and arm lengths. We don't need some fancy pantsy system to make this shit work. And we don't need to count in copper, so let's count in gold. All I right, say we go back to the Bronze yeah. Age unit of measurements, man. They built Bias, pyramids with that saying? shit. As you guys are making a lot of noise, uh, arguing about <laughs> buying um, I think this was not a character. <laughs> it was all in character for me. <laughs> for you, maybe. I had this conversation in my head with you. <laughs> I did not speak out loud. <laughs> Uh, you guys see coming towards the sound and the new light that they had reacted to because it has a definite point of origin. Um, you see coming forward um, a few uh, decent sized beetles. Okay, I cast fa- uh, I cast fairy fire on them. I roll for initiative first. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. <laughs> well, uh, okay, I read gen attack not this card. Yeah. No, Neil, I cast Artie, Artie, you <laughs> I did have for initiative. a spell ready. You, you did have a spell ready. Or... Oh, yeah, I'm totally changing it. That was a long time okay. ago. I, okay. I gave up on that. Okay. I, I figured. I just wanted to double check. Well, I appreciate time. that double checking. You're Wait a good a deal. It's coming at us. Just because otherwise then it would be like, it gets to your turn. Oh, I cast that spell before initiative happens. Right, right, right. Wait, it's coming at us now? Uh, yeah, they're moving towards you now because you guys uh, are making a lot of noise and you shined a, shone, shone a bright, you shone daylight at them. <laughs> oh god I, I don't know what initiative this is he's behind the cart just kind of being a senile old man okay. so. let's see um let's see Tapian you go first yes I cast fairy fire, fire, fire on them what uh, okay yeah they are 
We have now plus two bonus to strike them. Okay. Last for four rounds, so someone note that. I got a plus two. You should yes. note that. It's your spell. Yeah. I mean, it's his, cre- uh, his creatures. <laughs> so uh, don't complain if it lasts eight rounds. <laughs> don't worry. I know. Okay. There we go. Fairy fire. So yeah, your fairy fire goes off. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm it, hits, it hits all four targets, right? And within the eight yeah. radius. It's an AoE. <coughs> yeah. Wait, wait so. do they get it safe? Let me see. Mm, no. Okay. They are bedazzled by your fairy fire. <laughs> they are bedazzled. Bedazzled? bedazzled. Yes. Okay. Uh, Artie, it is your turn. I chant the words to my god, Ephra, goddess of inspiration. Show me how to to remove these creatures from my way. Show me the path, Ephra. And Ephra responds, if I can pass a 25% chance on a D100. Nope. No. No. <laughs> Ephra says nothing. Yeah. I beg her to show me the way, to teach Ephra, me Ephra how to defeat these things. Ephra is giving the silent treatment. Hey, you tuba. Ephra, <laughs> how do I defeat them? Ephra? <laughs> you're, you're, getting, you're getting the silent treatment. Someone's not very happy with you. <laughs> oh, God. I failed you, haven't I? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gerald and Aiden. So how many... Um, uh, Squares can you move? I have movement 15. Uh, 15 squares. All right. Um, so I can make it all the way. Yeah. I charged in. Okay. So giving me a plus two uh, to attack, but minus one to AC. Right. And I am going to invoke my um, uh, Blade Song aggressive fighting style, which gives me a plus two to attack rolls. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll your attack. All right. Mm. Okay, uh, you swing and you miss. It bounces harmlessly uh, across the beetle's carapace. Oh, the elf is dead. <laughs> Did you add the plus two? Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Uh, 12, 12 to hit. Yeah. Uh, it still bounces harmlessly off the beetle's carapace. Okay. Uh, like oh, when you were running, you just whoa. got a really awkward angle on your swing. It just kind of like, it, you, the blade hit it sideways and just kind of bounced back. All right, I, I tried to do like a fancy uh, swing and uh, twist move, you know, yeah. just twirl around. <laughs> I, I roll my eyes at that. Oh, you never twirl around in combat. <laughs> That's a slob. Okay, and uh, Ger- uh, I'm sorry, Gerald, what are you doing? I'm going to go to the side of the cards and then just to hold the action see if one of them comes to it. Okay. Um, and then let's see, they go. Uh, this one that you just attacked is going to bite at you. Okay. Okay. Uh, it misses. Completely, like it, it tries to like bite at you, but you just like easily duck out. I dance out of the way. Um, this other one is going to step forward and also bite at you. Um, what's your AC? Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, so this one also um, misses. Wait, your AC is twenty-two? What? Yes. This one uh, is that including your two penalty or your penalty for uh, charge? Yeah, that's including the penalty. What? What? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So uh, this well, we know one. he has eighteen decks. He could. Don't forget, Ryan. Back attack, Malphite, Mail, 
yeah. shield <laughs> one uh, All right. so weapon it's, and shield fighting style. So okay. it's uh, plus four from armor, plus four from dex, yeah. plus two from fighting style, plus three from class. So you do get hit. It is not a crit. Um, let's see. Where did this? It's a 22. Oh, all right. Make attacks to nullify your dex, right, Neil? They do, if you're flanked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If because you, you can't watch it, uh, you take eight points of damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fancy <laughs> fight on. Are you done? Yep. yep. <laughs> what the fuck? It's my oh, argument. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, the next you. one moves closer, and it is now the rock's turn. Excellent. Uh, what HP are you at, by the way, Max? Minus one. Okay. <laughs> Basically, we're right. trying to do a leg loss and just fail. Yeah. Miserable. <laughs> okay. So, can I get all the way over there? Uh, yeah, you can. If you roll, if you succeed on a dex check, you can even do like a cool like jump over the wagon thing. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Sweet. Excellent. So I'll get right there, okay. and. Uh, I'll just uh, dunk on him, you know? That's what I do. Okay, you do I guess, hit. I guess uh, don't forget the plus two from Fairy Fire. That, that is with the plus two. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's been a while since I put the rock. What's my... Oh, yeah. It's B10, right? Or... Dope. Yeah. Okay, uh, you swing and drop this thing. You smash it and guts fly. And actually... Excellent. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So you just smash it and uh, guts fly. Um, let's see. Go ahead and roll me initiative for next round. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got super last. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm near. Uh, please hold. I don't know the speeds of these spells yet. That's okay. So first round okay. of friendly fire is over. Okay. Charge in there and plep. Yeah. So... <laughs> the, the AC didn't help. <laughs> yeah. So Aiden, uh, you bleed. <laughs> you take one point of bleed damage. Okay, and then uh, Gerald. Uh, Gerald, you know, just runs in there and cures light wounds on him. Okay. Which I think just brings him to one. So. Yeah, it brings him to one. Uh, you uh, did take a point of bleed damage, and you were unconscious for a full round, so your spells are gone. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. It is now Artie's turn. Artie falls Although to his knees. It is, hold on. It is a round right after he got put down. Can't he still get up and fight? He's not. Uh, he he's lost. Left. Or he happened. His initiative went first, so he is at one. But he lost his spell. Like he went unconscious, so he can still fight, but he lost his spells. Right. Okay. Like he didn't get healed in time to uh, save that. If you had beaten his, then he would have been full. So, so I can still fight. Yeah, you just lost your spells. Okay. Uh, Artie dismounts from Orange, his donkey, falls to his knees, looks towards the sky, and <laughs> begs Ephra to forgive him for whatever tragic sins he's committed that is preventing him from casting his spells. <laughs> and he spends the whole round in fervent prayer, okay. begging his goddess for forgiveness and access to his spells so he can help save his friends. Okay, go ahead and roll me a either charisma or will check, whatever is better. Uh, whatever is better? It's yes. definitely charisma. Okay. <laughs> oh god! Okay. Oh god, my god, um, hates me! Yeah, you, uh, you're not really feeling your god today. Like, you might have done something wrong, you don't really know what, but... You, you, you're that not box I'm telling telling you by the gods. Yeah. It's because I've stopped box. rhyming, isn't it? <laughs> well, I promise I will fix my rhyming. I'll fix it even if I have to say tit. 
I'll, no matter what happens, I'll rhyme. I'll do it all the time. Please, Ephra, give me my spells. Otherwise, my friends' lives I'm will be... I'm just standing on top of the dragon, like... Shorter than that of elves. <gasps> okay. Um, so before Tapian gets to go, um, yeah. the uh, beetles are going to go. Uh, the first one steps over and attacks at the rock. Uh, AC? 18. Okay, not even close. Um, it bites at you and you easily tower over it and step away. Uh, the next one is going to step forward and attack Aiden. Uh, it does not hit you. It comes close, but uh, it just like grazes your armor with its uh, mandibles. And then this last one is attacking you as well. And it also misses. This one, not even close. The, it seems like these are not, they're not used to fighting armored creatures. Um, and then Tapian, your turn. Okay. I will jump off the wagon and storm besides Aiden and swing at that one. Okay. Uh, where, oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. My okay. Notes. Go ahead and, uh, no. Roll. Nice. Yeah, you don't. You swing in the air above it. Like these things are like four and a half, five feet long, but they're not that tall. Mm. Um, okay. And then the rock. Oh, it's about time. Yeah. All right. Uh, time to dunk again. Oh god, you get your second attack now. Uh -oh. right? Um. Okay. Go ahead and make me a save. <sighs> Okay, you easily, uh, you easily deal with your misstep, and uh, bad miss. Yeah, it's the end of the round, so yeah, your second attack. You All you right. recover well enough that you get your second swing off. There we go. And you hit again. Of course, I hit. Now okay. Okay. Um, next round of initiative. <sighs> oh. oh fuck. Oh. Ooh, oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, we can do it, man. We can do drop it. the one, then it will be a nine. So, nine initiative. Yeah. Uh, I would say seven. Cut it in half. Oh. Okay. So twelve. No. Well, okay. Uh, Artie, you are first. I have clearly displeased my goddess, and I will do the only thing I can to make amends. I will pull up my tuba and march into battle on my tuba, playing it as a hope to inspire my friends to greater combat. Wait, or even better, I'll, I'll, I'll ride my donkey into no, battle. Okay, okay. I still um, <laughs> And so I'm just gonna ride in circles around the party okay. and the, the beetles, okay. trying to inspire them with music. Go ahead and make me a check to see how well you play this tuba and inspire your friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have to find the tuba battle music. <laughs> I know, I was looking at the same thing. <laughs> I don't know why my check is 11, but I'm going to roll it anyway. I think that's wrong. I think musical okay. instrument is actually, it should be charisma based off dex or charisma. Or, my charisma is yeah, 14. Dex. My dex is 12. I, either way, I think that's actually a plus one. I think I might have yeah. just written these things down. Let me double check real quick. Okay. Okay. It could be dex of minus one. Artistic ability is wisdom but musical instrument is dex minus one yeah okay okay yeah. i guess i fail i'm not very inspiring yeah you're just blowing loud noise <laughs> okay. stop <laughs> and it is now let's see uh Tapian and Aiden, you both go at 12. Okay, I will swing at the one, at the same one. Okay. At the end of the round, I will get my second attack. Yeah. 22! Is that a crit? Okay, that is a hit. That is a crit. Okay. Oh, there's also a plus three to damage, so uh, Okay, never. you cleave this thing in two. Nice. Uh. Okay, I will attack the one to the right of me. 
Okay. And I am going to switch to my defensive fighting style, which gives me plus two to AC instead. Okay. So only attack with a plus three. <laughs> nice. Okay, make me a, a save. See if you recover. You have one, you step yourself while it's spinning. <laughs> Making me only. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, go ahead and roll me a uh, d20. <laughs> Another d20? Spinning. Uh, a d3. Oh, okay. On a one, you hit the bug. On a two or a three, you hit um, a Tapian. Well, he first has to hit me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're swinging at Tapian. Uh, roll the hit. See if it. One. Players. <laughs> oh yeah, 22. What's your AC, Tapia? 16. That's a crit. Okay. Roll damage. Okay, okay. That's why we don't spin in battle. Imagine if I would. You did spin. actually tell him that earlier too. You said don't yeah. spin in battle. You can spin to win right there. <laughs> I'm at zero. I'm at zero. <laughs> okay. But You're but unit. but I have the ability. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Iron will. I can make a. No, that's. Oh yeah. I can remain. Wish to remain conscious and have to make a save versus death. Okay. With modifier equals to negative hit points. So zero. If I make the save, I will stay conscious. I stay you conscious. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, stand on you, your feet. You ah! feel like you're a bit too weak to fight at this moment. You're standing, fight. but you. I can still fight. I can still fight. At zero? Yeah, it's okay. in wool. Okay. Each round, the, the character wishes to remain conscious. Oh, okay. Those... That's the thing. That <laughs> you're still in it. <sighs> oh, that's my, my mistake there. Spin Okay, you're in your Berserker Rage, and let's see, um, who that was like... 12? Okay, so 13, they go. Um, the one that is attacking the rock will attack him again, uh, completely whiffs that, and then let's see against Aiden. Uh, that also is a miss. Oh. Uh, it is your turn, Gerald. All right, well... Time for the old man to step in. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Swing right over the top of it. Is Iron Will a fighter ability? It's it's under uh, it's combat and tactics. It's um, a feat. It's a feat. No special talents. It's, it's under special talents. I don't know. Let's look at skills and powers. Pretty good. Okay. Rock, it is your turn. Of course. Alright, uh well. The good the good thing is in Iron Will, as long as I remain conscious, uh, if I had negative, I would not bleed. Okay. So tell me how hard I crit this guy. Uh you only single crit him. But it's a pretty big single crit. That's a shame. Wow, that's a really bad. Uh, single. Let's see. You uh, already you did do take, take Yeah, you, you did. You do take him down. He was right. the tankiest of them all. But you. Take a nice ability, Neil. Yeah. Okay. It's very nice. And then, uh, yeah, you get a second attack. No, I don't. Oh, then you only time. have one last. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah you, you the just whip. had the fumble. Yeah, yeah, I forgot you fumbled. So that's why you only hit once. I was like, you only killed one last round, so... Is it the, la is it, is it the end of the round? Uh, it is. I get my attack. second attack. Okay, second attack. Oh, uh, can I move uh, to you me? You didn't move before, so yeah, you can take a move after you... Like, okay. uh, I can't just... Probably can't move my square. Oh, you I... probably step on, yeah. <laughs> Ten. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, you uh, miss that. Okay, and next round. And I have to make my nice save. People trying to wail yeah. on it. I'm just impressed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I yeah I go unconscious. Oh. It's zero hit points. Okay. So I'm stable. If I'm not minus. Look at that initiative. Ooh. I'll say that you uh, you drop down. Um, you're you're still awake. You're just weakened. 
mm. um, from exertion. Um, and like lean, uh, kneeling, leaning on my sword. Like you can't even stand on your own. So yeah. Um, let's see. It is who went for uh, Ger- Gerald or Artie? Artie has not rolled. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I hit my oh. button. No problem. I did not. My mistake. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, Gerald, you go first. <laughs> Can I get to him? Or would that provoke an attack of opportunity? Uh, you are orange getting to red. No, I'm red. Red. To oh, you're red getting to orange. You uh, could yeah, you can get to him. Um, if you kind of just try to circle around, like pointing your weapon at it, you can move all the way around. Oh, like right. You have enough movement to kind of, as long as you can keep this thing engaged, basically. Oh, okay. Um, so I need to go around the other way. Yeah. If you go around to the left, you would take oh, the attack. I cannot select it now. Nice. Yeah, I can't move that now. Uh, I'll, where do you want? Up or down? Uh, down, I guess. Okay. Dive into it. Okay, so yeah, you move around. Um, Alright, he's healed for two. Okay. Nice. I'm at two. Okay. <laughs> Getting my sword ready again. <laughs> okay, roll me a d10 to see if you have an action this round. Um, I, I, I rolled a d10. Yeah. Oh, you did? Nine. Oh, okay. I don't. I didn't see it. Sorry. Yeah, I wrote it before my save. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Well, I got you first. So yeah, yeah, you get to have your your next. Ah, swing at it. Groaning under the strain of the wound. Yeah. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, you hit it. Seven damage. Seven damage. Uh, you hit it. It is still standing. Um, it looks really annoyed. It's clicking angrily, um, and it is. Um, let's see who's. Uh, yep, ten. Eight in turn. All right, I'll swing at it. Okay. There's no spinning. I spin. Of course he does. Okay. You Twenty one to hit. Um, uh, that yes. is a single crit. Woo, another crit, this time on the right target. You have at least 16 AC, dear god. Are you looking at me? <laughs> seven points of damage. Okay, seven points. It is still standing. Ooh, it's a strong one. It's looking weak. You're like, you skewered off two of its legs. It's only got four left. It's, it's um, kind of angry. No. And oh. it is not your turn okay. it is the beetle's turn okay cool. it is going to uh bite at um who just hit it yeah it's gonna hit at aiden because you just hit it most recently and you really it, don't like me <laughs> yeah they, they started rolling really bad so yeah Whew. and you have just amazing ac like they have yep. 20 to hit you oh yeah whatever happened there yeah, there was that one character that just had like two shields for weapons. <laughs> With just really ridiculous. That. <laughs> yeah. that that sounds like a random DM might want to get rid of that character. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, literally a dwarf with two shields and like like, like actual good armor. Uh, you, you can tell me how you kill this thing. Aiden, you, you can tell me exactly how you kill this thing. Wait, oh, it, it is it is dead now. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said well, it was just badly oh, Sorry, sorry. I, I thought you I thought it was Aiden Stern and I saw the damage roll come out. So I was expecting yeah, it's still it's still alive. Alright, so now I get to kill it. Yeah, it is the rock stern. Alright. <laughs> you you need the satisfaction to yeah. crit it. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. uh no, I do not do these. Yeah, you do not crit, yeah. Uh I do not have the weave weapon. <laughs> uh, you, you, That's tell, pretty me, good. tell me what happens to this thing. Uh, you know, I just casually walk up and like, guys, these aren't that bad, and cleave it in half. <laughs> the already <laughs> badly wounded beat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, guys, like, I just took out two of them over there. They're not that bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I 
I did it! I inspired my party to slay the beetles! Artie, I don't know Artie, what you, you did doing, nothing. But I definitely did uh, not feel Don't inspired. start talking, Ambassador. I don't want to know what they teach you at your fancy schools. Uh, yes. Tafian, Tafian, don't worry, I got this one. It's ballet. It's <laughs> not ballet. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, you were spinning out there. You look like you're ready to freaking put on that tutu and start spinning. Okay. Mm. That was a good one. But seriously, don't rush into headlong into a group of enemies if you don't want to die. Unless you won't. But unless you have just as many friends as you have enemies. Okay, so you have defeated these four beetles. Um. <laughs> that sounds really underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fear these four beetles. <laughs> one of you almost got killed. <laughs> one of you almost died. Uh -huh. uh, two, two of us actually. <laughs> two of you uh, almost died. Yeah. Well, uh, one to a party eight, member. Two of you. <laughs> <laughs> party almost nothing. died. <laughs> and I was just like, guys, it's not that bad. Pushing, uh, pushing. I, I must apologize. It's been some time since I last swung my blade. You know, being an ambassador. You know, it's. Oh yeah, I mean, I can tell kind of you, busy. your dance skills are really up there. Let, let, let me give you a hint. Stop spinning around like a dreidel uh, when you're fighting. <laughs> if you don't, especially if you stand surrounded by your own comrades. Okay, so what are you guys doing? You have four carapaces lying at your feet. You're slightly weakened. Do you well, have any more of that healing in you? Yes, I do. What about you, Audi? You, you've been very uh, communicative with your goddess. You got any healing? No. Nope. Well, that's that. I, I'll heal you when we bunker down for the night. I would, if there's any others, I might need to bring one of you back up again. Well, we could hunker down near this giant uh, statue of a troll. Is it a statue? Ding, ding. Well, at least it's stone. Is it, is it stone? Oh yeah, look at that. Well, we could, we could <laughs> also, we could also take shelter inside that wagon. Oh yeah. We're I mean, concerned like... about the hive that seems to be right there. Oh what? Oh. Wait, you mean the hive? Oh. I mean, I can't blame them. That's uh, that's the Sierra Nevada beer is pretty good. I would, I'd build a house there too if I could just have. We could. Um... Hmm, <laughs> maybe uh, put some oil in there, and or we could move on. Or we could move on. Yes, I don't move? know. It's kind of late. Well, we could just. Yeah, move it, it is night. We could just oh. move thirty minutes in that direction and camp there. Yes, let's move for a little bit and then. Yes, I'd enjoy okay. if we could find a stream with some fish in it. Not likely, but maybe. Okay, so we will go ahead and you guys continue on. Uh, are you guys just you're just ignoring the uh, um, hive? I'm guessing. Uh, does do any of you guys have animal lore? Anything animal related? I... Hold, please. I have like 500 non weapon proficiencies. Does ice sculpting count? Because I got to understand what the animals look like before I sculpt them into ice. Does animal uh, handling, course. animal training, local history, and anatomy, you any of that animal help? Animal lore at all? I, I know about fish. I have knowledge okay. fish. Uh, you said you had animal uh, <laughs> history or animal what? Sorry. Animal handling and animal training. Okay. Uh, did anyone else have anything animal related? It also has no. local history, maybe. So maybe local history combined with animal handling, like he knows about. Yeah, go ahead and make me an animal handling check at minus three. Oh. Sorry, oh, minus only... five. Minus five. Okay. Okay. Minus five. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Almost. I'm sorry, you do not know how to ride a beetle. If it was only a minus <laughs> yeah. three, that would have succeeded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you're inspecting these things and you can't quite figure out exactly what Let, they let's are. Just, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Okay. Yeah. Just um, for a little bit. 
Yeah, so you do hear, um, as you guys are, you know, settling down from this, you do hear. But it's like soft scuttling, and it seems like it's coming from the hive. Mm, we should just keep moving. Yeah, as I said, for like 30 minutes or so. Yeah, keep moving. Okay. It's all good. Um, you continue on. Um, how far do you guys want to travel? It is night already, and you guys are slightly wounded. About 30 minutes. Yeah, okay. half an hour. Just okay. uh, far enough away to be out of range of these things. Okay. Out of range of, like, all of them, or most of them. Okay, so we will, let's see. Oh, I need to change my map. And the proportions are all wrong. Okay, so you guys make it to about here. You've been on the path now for a little while. Um, and you guys are, uh, you also realize that you guys have spent a lot of time dilly-dallying, so you're not going to make it in the time you thought you were going to make it. And uh, you guys uh, set up camp. Uh, do you set up on the road or the path that is still kind of here under the tr canopy? Or do we find a stream? Uh, perception checks. If anyone yes. who likes to sleep. Why do you keep wanting it. to sleep next to a stream? I have fishing. I have a fishing pole. <laughs> we'll catch us some dinner. Uh, you do fine. find a small stream. Um, it's right along part of the path. There's just a little. Um, just for you. <laughs> there is a little... Uh, oh, wow, I zoomed in way too much. There is a little stream that goes to the path. And at the end of the path, it looks like there is a well that goes deep into a reservoir of water. It looks like it was once used as a watering stop. You do happen to find that uh, upon your search. It's like... 10, 15 feet off. It's covered over, but once you get there, you do realize that there is a well there. at the And it goes to, it looks like an underground reservoir of water that um, the stream feeds. All right, I immediately start fishing. Uh, what, uh, is there moss in on the well and inside the well? Um, the well is covered, but if you, you know, take off the, there's like a wooden cover that looks like it's kind of like, almost like broad, like, it's old wood. It's okay, I take time. it off. I take it uh, off. You take it off, and yeah, it just looks like there's water down there. You can't really see the bottom. Uh, you, there is like some kinds of like moss and growth on the sides of the well, but nothing uh, like it, like it just looks like this is just overgrown and old. Um, okay, I will cast speak with plants because I can speak with all kinds of plants. Okay, Gosh, and I will. You can argue with grass again. <laughs> and I will just ask the moss a simple question. Is there anything else than water or other plants in that well, in terms of living matter? <laughs> oh my god, it's the plants all over again! <laughs> oh. You really think the plants oh. are going to give you the exact information you're looking for? Like, he, he's yeah. over there talking to the fish, I already have the line in the water. They yeah, have zero yeah. intelligence. They're, they're, they yeah. They don't even have a nervous system. You, you don't. Uh, algae is even dumber than plants. You can't, <laughs> uh, like it, algae isn't actually a plant, so you can't actually communicate with it. It's a collection of single-celled organisms that yeah. just happen to live together. They're not. Yeah. They're the completely different kingdom. Actually, I can, yeah. actually I can communicate. This spell makes it so. <laughs> it's a fourth level spell. I can do it. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's, it's not, not a, plant. a plant. Algae is not a plant. It's it a is different from protista. Type. It's the same I mean, thing as on the, like inside, kelp. In, on the inside yeah. of the well, there's not algae on the stone wall. It's more like moss or something, right? Algae moss is kind of still related in that area. Moss is a plant. Yeah. I know, like, because like mushrooms are different. I, Lichen I guess. Lichen is the kingdom of fungi. Yeah. Same as yeah. mushrooms, not plants. And like and is moss. What's the spell say? With, with what kind of plants I can speak? Hmm? It says see. plant. That's a very specific yeah, yeah. kingdom of life. In the spell, in the spell it's specific, uh, it gets a bit more specific. Uh, uh, <laughs> including fungi. Ooh. And plants okay. like monsters. Okay, you do. Okay, you do have All me there. All sorts of living vegetables. Okay. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, so that means that you can communicate with Artie then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so you uh, talk to the... Uh, they. Uh, so if you still have the continual light stone off, uh, they seem to be talking about light. They're like, light like they haven't it's dark it, it's it's oh, a yeah. harsh it's not something that is appreciated um, okay I, I close i close the lid and ask again <sighs> okay uh you so close the lid to the well mine. or the lid yeah the you go I just, rocks light anything? or you go to the well and close the lid which one do you do i'm i'm at the well yeah no no i was just asking if you were closing the hooded lantern that the rock has on his bag or if you were closing the, the well, uh, okay. the well. Yeah, so you close the well and uh, what do you ask now that they're not in the pain? The question was, is there anything else living inside this well besides veg vegetables? <laughs> uh, this is our home. We live here. <sighs> I just... He wanted it, so I opened the lid and just go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. So how's the fishing? Uh, hey, just you... Go ahead it's and make well. me a fishing check. <laughs> it's... Oh, oh, I, it's it's cool. not if you ask me. <laughs> I come back from, oh, how's the fishing? <laughs> from the well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's... you're fishing from the stream, right? Yeah, I'm just okay. like fishing. Uh, so you're fishing. It's actually a pretty deep stream. It's maybe like like it's small, but it's deep, <laughs> so you can't quite see the bottom. Like it's dark water, and you actually uh, fish and catch. You pull up a giant catfish. Uh, you actually might need some help. Like roll me a strength check. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you, you definitely wrangle it in, and you get it on the line. But it's just if you. Can <laughs> This is not going to end well. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> I have to say, murder buddy suggested couldn't Tavion get a pet artichoke that he has to consult with. Oh, um, oh. <laughs> uh, You do. Uh, eventually, you manage to pull up, and there is a giant, like four and a half, five foot long uh, catfish. I caught us dinner, boys. Ah, oh, shoot, Earl, we're having catfish tonight. Can you cook? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> can you cook? Uh, that's yes, so I can cook. I have. There, cooking. there is always uh, sashimi as an option. I, I have cooking, so yes. Okay. Okay. Um, are you guys setting up a campfire with your camp? No, I am eating my rations. Yes. Rations. Okay. So yeah, you can set that up and cook as long as one of you guys has fire proficiency. I do have fire. Proficiency. Okay. Then you can build it. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. And uh, Neil, are you setting up your tent again? Of course. Okay. Um, let's see if you can do it on your own because it is a really big tent and you're a really it is, small guy. It is. It is. Okay. Here it comes. Do you need help with that again? <laughs> I uh, yes, yeah, you, uh, I need help. I help. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think you realize the problem is you just can't quite reach where <sighs> you have to screw in the poles. So like it's, it's really hard for you to do it on your own. So I'm I'm a determined. Yeah. We help guy. you. We help you. Yeah, you easily <laughs> get it. So Tapian and Aiden do uh, help you set it up. All right. I will share with them my tent for the night and my okay. wine. Okay. okay. Now I regret giving away those extra blankets. I could have had like a sleepover. You have two, right? I, have I, I, only, I only have one. I got rid of all my others. Oh, okay. I thought you only gave two to Glip Bob. I and I gave one to Aiden. Oh, okay. Okay. And Can I, I will... interest you in some fish. Yes. Um, no, thank you. I have my own versions. Okay. But thank you. And anything else okay. you guys are doing? Well, I will. I will play a little song, a little lullaby, while okay. the piano goes. I take first watch. So first of all, my little song. Pretty good. Uh, that was a perception check? No, that's the uh, flute. Oh, the flute? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know exactly oh, yeah. what he's playing. Okay, uh, I take first watch. Um, who takes second? Mm, I'll take second. Well, hold on now. First, I, I need to 
I'll take the last watch, but first I need to heal you. Okay. There we go. Nice, nice. So, Artie, you take fourth watch. <laughs> ah. Brock, you will wake him, right? <laughs> what? You will wake Artie, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, and then fifth watch is uh, Gerald. Yes, yes. Okay. That's if you guys take two hour watches. Um, then let's see. Uh, so yeah. Uh, um, let's see. On. On Artie's watch. So the rock wakes Artie up to go to watch. Um, Artie, do you get up? I suppose. If, okay. if he's slow to get up, I'll give him a good swift kick in the Artie. Okay, so you get up and you are on a soul watch. Um, and make me a will save. Mm. Great. Nope, I continue <laughs> the tradition of okay. failing every single check I attempt to yeah. make. And okay, so you are the only person awake. And uh, you are being called to this box again. Wait, does he? You're, you're feeling like you're, you're feeling like there's just something very inspirational about, about what's in there. Like it could be the greatest inspiration. What do you, it's almost you get... like it's almost that feeling you get when you uh, are pleasing your god. That you're almost getting that same feeling. Would you get any bonuses from knowing that this something is influencing him? I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm okay. not gonna look in the box. Okay. Because Desmond asked me not to. And I love Desmond and trust Desmond and wouldn't want to piss him off because I know what happens when people betray him. <laughs> However, <laughs> he said absolutely nothing about divining what might be in the box through the use of spells. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna cast uh, Mind Read on the box. Okay. And the contents Ooh. of it. And let me see. That's and a second level cleric yes. spell. Lasts for one round per level. So for me, it lasts for five rounds. It's failable. It's a spells. sensitive version of the wizard spell ESP. In addition to detecting the surface thoughts of any creatures in range, the priest is able to probe deeper into the mind of a single creature. And what is the uh, name of it again? Sorry. Mind read. Okay. Mind read will always reveal the kind of creature being probed, although its identity may be crouched in the creature's own language or in possibly distorted body images. The spell has a 20% chance of revealing the character class of an individual. But of course, I have a 25% chance to fail my spells because Artie is the worst cleric okay. to ever exist. He passes this time. Okay, you. so you are probing this box and you don't really seem to find any sort of consciousness coming from it. There's there's no like living creature in there that you can tell. Wait, does he sense the surface thoughts of all of us? Yes. Sleeping? Yes. So what are you, each of you dreaming about in just like a quick sentence? Fishing. <laughs> you, you just see a very quick mental image of sitting on the shore of a river fishing. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I've come to expect from Gerald. And me uh, dancing. Dancing? <laughs> Aiden's dancing? <laughs> like exotic with the sword. dancing? With the sword. With sword dancing, okay. Yeah. You get you get from me a, like an image of Tabian playing his flute uh, sitting on a tree and you get the feeling of joy. Like you had, hadn't enjoyed something for a very, very long time. Okay. Rock. Dunking on people. Yeah, that's pretty much. It's the jam, basically. It's like the um, ah, can't think of it. Space jam, jam. Space jam, jam. Space jam, jam. It's the like come out onto the field and start dunking music. Come on and slam. Yeah. So yeah, you're pretty sure there's no creature inside this box. And there are no air holes or anything, so you're you're pretty sure there's not a creature in there. Okay, interesting. 
is not a creature in the box. And the box is not a creature as well. The box is not a creature. Wait, did the casting require a verbal component? So it might oh, make yeah. everyone up. It does have a verbal component. Yes. That would make me up since it's the slightest. <laughs> uh, roll me a perception check then to see. Yeah. Because he's probably not casting like, Whoa! <laughs> That would be also funny. If just... <laughs> okay. You do wake up um, to, I guess, what, what's the scene that he wakes up to? Uh, Artie. Uh, Artie's sitting cross-legged with his tuba kind of around him, mm-hmm. um, staring at the box. But then I guess Tapian wakes up, and I get to read his mind as he wakes up. Okay. So, <clears throat> Tapian, what are your thoughts upon seeing this? Suspicion. And since he shared with us that something is in the box, infl- trying to ins- influence us, like you didn't necessarily, you don't know that. Well, he's. I said yes, that earlier. Oh, okay. well, yeah, yeah. And yeah, suspicion if the box is influencing him, since he's staring at the box and not the surrounding area. <laughs> what yes. are you doing? Okay, and Tapian. You do also notice, um, with your great um, ability of waking up. I, I'm. I, I have to roll the hundred because I'm two percent spell resistant. Okay. No. <laughs> well, no, no, you you do notice up in one of the trees is a cloaked figure. So in the camp. So, Artie, and I try to get him uh, looking at me, Artie. Hmm. What are you doing? Probing your mind, revealing the secrets within it. So, uh, Artie, you do right. You probe the mind. You right, you see, or uh, via um, via Tapian's thoughts, you realize there is someone up in the tree. Yeah, so without the, changing uh, my direction, I just want to move my mind probe from this guy, okay. Tapian, to the tree. As long as he's within twenty-five yards. Okay, it, it's 75. like the closest tree, like up in like a branch, like okay. probably about 30 feet up in the tree. Well, like I a... probe its mind. Okay, it is, it seems like it's a definitely like a human creature and its thoughts are centered on the box. It Whoa. is, uh, it is one, it, it, you, you sense great lust for the box. I have a... 20% chance is it to detect what character class it is if it has one. Okay. So roll I don't know that. if you want to roll that in secret or if you want me to roll that publicly. Uh, you can roll, or actually I'll roll that in secret. Um, while he does 20%? that... I, 20%. Um, okay. While he does that, I get up and... Well, uh, I have to take yeah. a leak. I t- have to take a leak and I step out going and very complex routes uh, through the camp and slightly kicking uh, who am I come across? Okay. Just Artie, slightly... Artie uh, the thoughts that you're sensing, how long does that last, by the way? Five minutes. Okay, yeah, so the thoughts that you're sensing, they register that um, Tapia, like, that someone left the camp, but they're still just solely focused on the box. Like, it's almost like an overcoming, like, hunger for it. It's like it's starving and really wants uh, that box. It's like there's something just very primal about wanting to get that box. It's a one-track mind. And I haven't revealed any character class. You have not. Uh, do you get a check every round? No, I think it's okay. just a single one. Okay. Um, can I tell any other the details and usefulness of the creature's thoughts will depend on the intelligence of the subject? While the priest could read the thoughts of an animal, he probably only received a confused jumble of emotions and instincts. Reading the mind of a highly intelligent wizard would be much more illuminating. You, you would guess this this feels more like an animal thought. It's very one-track mind, very singular focused, and, and less like a uh, what you would expect from um, an average intelligence uh, person. All right, I, um, I do not share this information with anyone. And okay. I continue just to sit and watch the box, content to let this other creature watch alongside me. Okay. Um, but maybe like adjust my positioning so I move to the other side, where, where, so I can be facing whichever way the creature is. Okay. Okay. Um, I will go over to uh, Gerald. 
and like notch them awake. Gerald, it's your turn for a watch. And I just go down to him. There's someone over in the trees. Okay, let's see. So as you go over, um, from the tree, um, swinging down with a rope, uh, this figure comes forward, and already you sense that this person is going to grab for the box. Uh, roll me an initiative to see if you can beat him to the box. And do I hear that? I'm swinging down from a tree? And let's see. to Tarzan the box. Oh! Oh! Uh, the box is Tarzan. Um, he swings forward, lands on another branch just outside the camp at about 15 feet, and tries to head into the brush. Um, let's. Uh, well, I think it's initiative time, maybe? It is initiative time. And do you still have surface thoughts, or is uh, that. I don't know how long it's been. Probably? I, it's, I think I'd say it's the last round right now. It's just like a feeling of pure ecstasy, is the last thought. And. Uh, yeah. It's nighttime, right? Uh, it is nighttime. It is around three ish in the morning. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess do I need to roll a second initiative, or do I just go after it? Um, you go after it for this round. Okay. Well, then I will shout loudly as I cast hold person at the creature. Okay. Op spell. It is a good spell. That's so yeah. good. It's a very good spell. Uh, let's see. I'm targeting okay. one creature, so he's a minus two to his saving throw penalty if I can cast okay. my spell. Oh, no. Which I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what its saving throw saving is. Saving throw at minus two versus spell adjusted for wisdom. I thought it's minus four if you're only targeting one person. Nope. Two. Maybe no, the wizard slow. version of it gives it. No, that that's slow. That's yeah, slow, slow is minus four. There's a third level hold person wizards get that has higher uh, question penalties, would, I think. Uh, yeah. That is spell, right? Spell. Okay. Uh, would I get? Uh, would I notice that Swing, him swinging and arting like? It is a pass. They pass uh, the hold person. They do oh, pass the hold person. Okay. With an eighteen. Uh, Ryan. Yep. Do I get checked then? I, I, uh, you mean a 16 because it's awake. at minus 2. Uh, yeah, 16. But still, that's a pass. They rolled an 18, which was good enough. Hmm. Um, yeah, so Tapian, uh, you can go after... I, actually, that, that was a surprise round because you weren't aware that that swinging action was coming. So, uh, you next initiative. Uh, the party, you all are waking up at hearing Artie cry. Can I already be up since you started waking me up? Uh, yeah, you can. The the party comes into action uh, this round, basically. Like you guys are waking up, so um, maybe you can different music instead of ah, everything is wonderful, calm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's what, Artie? What's going on? Okay. The box! The box! A man has taken the box! A thing! Some sort of animal thing! Not on my watch. <laughs> That's some nice <laughs> initiative. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. Only Artie can see where the creature is currently. Um, so if you want, you can kind of point out in the direction. There are oh. trees in the way. Um, and so, uh, Aiden, you are moving at the same time. So let's see if you can get in range to see um, where okay. this creature is going. I go over to Ari and see he's pointing at the direction and follow the direction he's okay. pointing at. So there are a network of like ropes basically throughout these uh, trees. And um, basically he swings forward um, you can run along on the ground, um, but it does appear that you are make, moving almost as fast, but not quite as fast. I have movement rate 15. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're moving the same speed as this thing. So okay. you have it, you have it in your sight on the, in the trees above you. All right. 
I pursue, I keep pursuing full okay. movement. Uh, so we'll just do competing initiatives. Uh, does any, and no one else has 15 to keep up. Uh, but, uh, I, well, hold on. Does he get out of an 80 yard range from swinging in the tree? Yeah, he can't uh, that's, move just that's running, right? Yeah. He, yeah, he, he's pretty much just, yeah, he's swinging uh, 80 yards, let's see, from the camp. He is about 80 yards when your first initiative uh, goes off. So you you have the first turn to hit him. Okay, so he's like I right can... at 80 yards. All right, so I can still cast Entangle. You can. Okay, then, you know, Entangle him. Okay, so you cast Entangle on the area. Um... Uh, he is seems to be entangled. Uh, the, like the rope binds and shit that he was using to swing, uh, start kind of grabbing around him. Um, at this point, you see him crouch and start fumbling with the box. Stop him! Okay. Um, let's see. So it is. Because that was, I guess, still the first round. Uh, you did catch him, so uh, let's see. Uh, Rock and RD. So you guys. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm gonna catch up to him, right? Uh, you're gonna try. I mean, you can run towards him, but yeah, he is like, 20 feet up in the air. So he is 20 feet up in the air. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So upon seeing where he's going, I'm gonna grab three things. Okay. A sword. My rock and my lantern. Lantern goes on the belt, and I've got my rock and I've got my sword. And when I see him like all entangled up, I'm like, ah, crap! I can't get yeah. up there. Ah. Yeah, and I'm a, yeah, uh, uh, entangle is in the area around it, so you will. Um... Good thing I can just chuck a rock at him. Okay. <laughs> a big rock. Well, yeah, he does. He does have him. some cover, so I'm gonna give you a minus four to hit. All right, minus four. Yeah. And how far is you said he's twenty feet? Uh, yeah, he's like twenty feet up, and you can get uh, entangle is within whatever radius you can get to about thirty feet away. About I can get thirty angle. feet away without okay. stepping into entangle. Excellent. That's just what I need. So it's a minus <laughs> four. All right, here we go. Uh, go okay, uh, you do not hit him. Ah. Um, let's see. Really? Uh, Any uh, dex he has is just like gone. Yeah. From being in the entire. Oh yeah. So. Also, if he hit, if he is entangled, then that also affects. Oh him. yeah, that does affect his AC. So yeah, yes. you you do hit him. Barely. Excellent. You do hit him. <laughs> and because I threw this, I get uh, I get to add my strength to it, right, Neil? Yeah. Nice. You get to add your yeah. strength. Yeah. Throwing, throwing things. Uh, Sounds about right, right to me. And you're proficient with rocks, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Figured you were, but... Okay, so three damage. Uh, you hit him, and he kind of gives a cry. But Big rock. Is, and um, now there's a, uh, a continual light rock just kind of like... Oh, uh, that's what you threw at him? Okay. Yeah, I threw deep. <laughs> okay. Um, so at that point, you see that it looks like he has opened the... Uh, I, have, uh, I, have, I have... Oh, joke. sorry. Sorry, your turn. Yes. Excuse me. But yeah, it was explicitly stated that there was a very good quality lock on that. It was, yes. And uh, as I see, he's filling with the lock. I will cast dancing miss, uh, dancing light, and we'll have all lights spinning in front of the lock. To okay. uh, 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 what's it, the range uh, on that again? I think you can. Make uh, it. Yeah, I can, it's fifty, 50, 50 yards. I mean, fifty yards. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I can get that. Okay. So I will have them spinning, obscuring okay. the vision of the lock. Yeah, so uh, he on his turn, or uh, he will open the thing, and as the box falls, uh, he is uh, he disappears, yeah. and the box falls to the ground open. Uh, all what spills out is it looks like there are a few um, ornate um, carved mini tablets as well as a brown sack that land on the ground, um, spilling out of the chest. And the rock, since you are near, you can see that there is a key that matches the box that is sticking out of the, uh, 
um, front of it. Wait, didn't you say it was like a combination lock? Yeah, there's like a slide. It's like a you put it in and like rotate it. But like if you have the right key. Yeah. yeah I was trying to describe some kind of like fancy locking mechanism that wasn't just like a tur- in and turn, but like it's like a two factor lock or whatever. I just spell. Oh, that two factor authentication. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I guess you guys wait for Entangle to roll out, and there we go. I think we should go to break. All right, All right. see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye, everybody. Can I just be- wait, since I just yeah. woke up and I had yeah. was about to take my watch, mm-hmm. can I just start memorizing spells? You can when we get back from break, okay. if you All choose right. to. Okay. Now we'll see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay.